Well, welcome to my cramped ass garage. On this episode, I have this little PW50 that I found on Marketplace, fairly cheap. So we're just gonna get it all put back together, get it running and get it sold to fund some other projects. Obviously we're missing plastics, missing like the side cover for the stator. Just need to tune up. It's got compression. I haven't tried to run it yet because the carb is trash. I didn't want to put that fuel through the engine. Also the tank is just full of varnish. Other than that though, I mean, it's really straight. I think it's a 2004 and fairly not beat up. Like I didn't find anything bent or damaged, just stuff missing. We are gonna do an oil injection delete because I just don't trust them. I prefer not to use them. Okay, easy enough. And we got a new one that will slap on there once I get the oil tank out of there. It looks like the bracket is under this head tube bolt. That's the broken cable retainer that's supposed to go. There it is, right there. But that's okay. that bracket so the oil tank is out all you have to do is remove this bracket and lift it away and then disconnect the hose on the pump side and that's it it's really straightforward I'm gonna go ahead and get the grips on so I found to buy one factory grip would have been the same price as it would be to buy a set of new ones so I just opted for new ones and then we'll bolt that back down Uh, there is varnish in it, but it's like gelled, so it doesn't really go anywhere. Uh, I didn't check for spark yet. Uh, I didn't realize this plug is broken. Well, I'll have to probably swap that one out. I'm um, using a BPR 4HS, so I'll pull it out. Looks just as bad as it did the first time I took it out. I'm gonna say it's fine until I can actually confirm it later. That's the part number for the side cover. I think most, if not all, the parts I got came from one of the dirt bike supply websites, you know, the ones that sell like aftermarket and OEM parts. And then I think the only specialty thing I ordered was the oil pump delete and the plastics, both of which just came off eBay from God knows where. It already looks so much better. But I don't have hardware and it looks like it's M5. So probably M5 by 0.7 or 0.8. So I'll find some hardware for that. So we got some stainless Allen head stuff, which looks pretty good. This carb probably has no issues. I can just rebuild it pretty quickly, but a new one's $16. So while the new one's not a Makuni brand, it is an identical replacement. So what I'll do is I'm gonna slap the $16 one on. You can kind of see like, it's pretty gross in there. Definitely savable, but again, it's gonna take me two hours to do that. Whereas $16 is cheaper than my hourly rate. Yep, well, what's that called? Unscheduled rapid disassembly. Those parts just took off. That's fine. The springs here, something. Oh, there's just a screw. Okay. Well, that's fine. Everything's fine. There we go. Ooh, that's gross. It doesn't appear that anything got into the intake. Like there's stuff in the carb, but not on the back side. So that's promising. As much as I hate clone stuff, I can't argue with that. That took me three minutes to swap and cost $16 versus that Makuni, which would have cost me two hours of labor. So, well, we've progressed a little bit. Turns out I need to take the engine out of the frame, which was actually super easy. It was like four bolts. Turns out the exhaust was held in with only one bolt. So I wouldn't have found that otherwise. So what has happened is I bought a used Kickstarter and then a new grip for it. I bolted it on. Apparently it's a really common issue and what happens is, so this is the Kickstarter shaft, this gear breaks free of the shaft itself and then just spins forever. So that's what I suspect has happened. So I bought a used one, we're going to see what happens because, you know, it seems pretty easy to swap but I do have to open the clutch side of the engine to do so and to do that I have to remove it from the frame. So here we are. I'm gonna go ahead and delete the oil pump now before I get too far into this. Same as like the PW, you can just buy these block off plates, which just drop in the place of the pump. I don't get a lot of chances for this if I strip these, so I kinda of wanna get it right the first time. Okay. Just tighten it just a little bit. That way 
If you strip it, you strip it in a direction, it doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, just gonna clean up all the dirt and then we'll pick back up when it's time to assemble this. Pretty easy. I'm just gonna oil up this O-ring and then just pop it in. It should be pretty easy. That doesn't look good so far. I mean, it's not great, but it's, there's definitely crap in it, but not like too bad. I don't remember how much oil I put in it. So that could be almost all fresh stuff that hasn't even been run and just a little contaminants. I don't actually know. Okay, we'll let that drain. And then once it's done, we'll pull the side cover, which is just whatever, six JIS bolts. I initially thought that this cover on the side was for clutch axis. It's not, it's just a sacrificial cover for the cover. That's probably not going back on. Also, I went ahead and broke all of the bolts loose. So I'm gonna use an impact to get them off. I just wanted to say for the sake of anybody who's gonna have been out of shape for me trying to break loose bolts with an impact I'm not. I wanted to verify I wouldn't strip any of them because I just don't wanna play any of those games right now. So they're all loose. The screw that was down at the bottom here had a lot of corrosion on it. There it is. Yeah, so it's just corrosion on the dowel. Okay. Let's see if it's broken. Yep, it's broken. Well, actually you can just see it's crooked. Okay, so that's where our failure was. There's some sludge down in here, like not a ton, just from age. I mean, everything else looks really great in here. Okay, so clutch has got to come off and I think the component behind it also has to, but we will only find out once we get in there. So, okay, spring for the kickstart just popped off, which is fine. There is a washer that goes between the clutch and that component. So it looks like the drive for the oil pump needs to come out next in order to get the starter shaft out. So it's just another snap ring. That's, this is, there it goes. Yeah, so literally just the weld broke. So this should just slide through. Yeah, easy, okay. Side by side to make sure they're the same, which they are. So this should just go right back in then. Just like that. No, go back. There we go. Okay. That all seems... Yeah, that seems right. Snap ring, no. Oil drive. Oil drive, snap ring. Washer, clutch, it's got teeth that index onto the wheel drive. So just gotta line that back up. Snap ring again. It's connected. Wow, who'd have thought it would actually work when the parts aren't broken? <laughs> Slap it back together with a new gasket, which is somewhere. I realized what the issue was that plastic cover I had, it had a little bit of material to it. So this one down here is supposed to be the longer one. And right now that cover's not going back on. So the long one that's supposed to go there is now orphaned. So I need to find a shorter one to go there and then we're good. Hopefully I have some in my piles of crap. Yes. Okay, so I think at this point, I can go ahead and just put the oil in. I'm gonna leave it on the bench for a little while with oil in it just to make sure it doesn't leak because I'd rather it leak here than do all the work to put it back in the frame and then find out it leaks. So gonna do that now. We're gonna do 1030 or 1040 motorcycle wet clutch, whatever I have in stock, I don't actually know. Um, and then it's a third of a quart, so 0.33 or 300 cc's, whatever you wanna go by. Frame is back assembled. Airbox is on, the new one rather. The carb is back on. I didn't show it, but I replaced the spark plug boot. It was previously cracked, got a new exhaust gasket. This is the not restricted one. New gasket's gonna go on there. We were missing one of the bolts for the header, which the remaining one was also in terrible shape. So we just got new stuff. So we just gotta kinda line it up and not throw the gasket out. So 
So unfortunately, the plastics I got are not perfect fit. Like, they will work, but they're just not perfect, and that's kind of a bummer. Actually, I should probably put the seat on first. I don't know. I'll figure this out once I find hardware for it. I'm gonna try to get the little tongue up under the frame. Get the rear bolts situated. All right, it's all back together. The fuel lines were the biggest pain in the butt than any other part of this whole project because they changed size and they're a weird size. They're probably metric actually now that I think about it. And I was using SAE line. But in any case, they sucked and I really didn't want to deal with that. But they're all on, everything's assembled and we're ready to take outside and fire it up. The rain just started picking up. So I'm gonna try to make this really quick. I don't know why it has a run and a start option. Is that extra spark? I don't know what that means, but we'll put on run and see what happens. Oh, there, okay. Choke off. Does not want to stay idling. Okay, we'll let it get warmed up and just see if we can get it to stay idling. So we got it dialed in, it runs pretty well. It still bogs pulling my weight around, but obviously it's not meant for an adult. So no big deal there. It's actually even easier to ride than the JR50 was and now on to send it down the road to the new owner. The whole point of this was just to fix it and sell it to fund other projects. So it's not gonna be sticking around. It was just kind of like a, you know, bring it back to life and make a little money on it. So it's done, everything's in order for it. I wish the plastics weren't as bad as they were. I think I probably would have bought better quality ones had I had more time, but nothing we can do about it now. It's kind of just done. So with all that being said, thanks for watching and stay tuned. Again, really complete. Everything is disgusting. So, it didn't work. Oh, that could have been bad. Stop, focus. that's not a face. Why are you looking at that? Stop looking at that. If you're not running the this one here is supposed to be the longer one. You can't see because the camera is focusing on something else and it's too dark now. Okay, a little butt plug goes on the nut side. To go way under, like right under there. Now oh, that makes more sense. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I'm stupid.